Hey guys, so today I'm drawing Link from Legend of Zelda. To be honest, I don't play the game at all, and I've never played it. Um, I know the, like, the recent one is called Breath of the Wild, and I only know some characters, but I'm not too familiar with even the storyline. I know my friends play it a lot, but for they played it, but for me personally, I haven't played it yet. I know the mechanics though, my brother was saying they seem a little bit similar to um, Genshin Impact, so yeah, he said he struggled a lot when playing it and he ended up failing a lot of times, um, so maybe I would do better at playing the game, but I haven't purchased it myself, so yeah, I do have a Nintendo Switch though, so maybe... Maybe later in the future or something. But I've never been really interested in playing it. And I've heard it's really good. It's just that I haven't played it personally myself. So yeah. Um, so this is Link. And I don't know too much about the characters either. I only know like the names of the characters. Like some of them. And that's pretty much it. Um, I also know that there's like these fish people they're like shark people and there's like this king shark he looks super cute too so yeah i don't know if i will draw him but he looks really nice as well the design for the character design is really nice and also the graphics are really good nowadays so yeah um I saw Link in like his traditional clothing when looking up references. He normally you wears this like long green hat that's pointy and then a kind of like a green outfit. But um, this new one, I think this was from Breath of the Wild where it actually is like blue color. So I decided to take that one and said, I don't know. I just thought the blue looks super pretty. Um, it's also probably because the graphics are also up to date as well as for the older style. The older style still looks good. Um, my brother played some of it too, I think. But overall, I just wanted to do this style. So for his hair, it was really difficult because what happens is every single reference, I get to see like his left side for the parting, but for the right side, all I see is like the front bangs that go to the side, but then I don't see like what the back hair looks like, which is really, um, for me, it was complicated. So I may have made his like back part stick up a bit too much to the side, but it's okay, it looks very anime, so we're gonna go with that. His hair also, I decided to color it a darker color than it was supposed to be. It's more of a lighter blonde, like a dirty blonde compared to like this. But um, I think I used too much like golden looking browns. So it ended up looking like, it's supposed to be like dark yellows, but they look like golden brown when you put them on paper. And basically, this is what it ended up looking like. It may have been a bit too dark for his hair color, though, but it's still okay. His hairstyle is really pretty. Um, I looked at like several references to get like the points of what they look like. Um, there was this one where it was an action pose and I was going to draw him in an action pose. That's why I made the hair like super swoopy and wavy and you can see like his other bangs as well. Not his bangs, but like the side parts of his hair. But um, I don't know. I just felt like drawing this type of pose, like a simple one. So I ended up going with this instead. Um. I haven't really drawn that many action poses, so I'm not that great at it. So I didn't really want to mess up this character too much with that. He has really pretty hair. I normally don't like... I don't know. I normally don't draw characters that I'm not too familiar with, but again... I do tell you guys like every video, if you have favorite characters, you can leave it in the comment section below if you want to see me draw it in my style. But definitely for this one, because I know a lot of my friends play it, and then there's a new game coming out soon. So I thought, why not get to it and then draw a character that I'm not too familiar with. He also has this earring on his ear. It's really pretty. He has like these elf ears. Um, 
I don't know the aspect of like the heights with the characters though. I know the shark people, like the fish people are really tall and there's also bird people as well that are super tall. So I'm not too sure like how he adds up like next to a person in terms of height. I really I'm interested in that. <laughs> I should have searched up more about him. So for this part of his outfit and also the sleeves, they're like this white creamy color with a hint of green shading in it and it's like this grayish undertone but really I didn't have anything like that. So I colored in all the patterns correctly but like those parts I ended up just shading in gray and acting as if I had like the right colors but honestly I didn't for like the actual sleeve parts with the patterns on them. It's kind of really difficult when I only have like a set of markers and I mention this like almost every video but I try my, batch, my best to match the colors but the problem is I don't have like so many different shades. It's just like one box of 60 markers. So yeah. And then here I am coloring in his shirt. I really love the asymmetrical belt that's going on on his um, outfit as well. It's really nice. So here I am, just coloring everything in. Um, I wasn't too worried that I got these string parts, like the stitching on like the collar of his shirt, if the blue kind of like melded into it, because honestly, I kind of wanted to use like my white marker, sorry, not white marker, but white pen to kind of go over it again to make it more, stand out more, so yeah. He does have a pattern on his shirt, which is white, which I am doing later. So later on, after you see me finish outlining, that's when you'll see it. I personally ended up not drawing it, even though it was complicated. So maybe I should have drawn it in pencil to have a guideline. But I decided not to do that and just wing it at the end. So you'll see how that goes. Um... I didn't want to draw too much of like his lower belt though because he has this pouch on it that has so much pattern and I was kind of like confused on like how to draw it so I ended up just making it that his belt kind of goes off of the paper and you don't see it. Um, kind of just a cheat in a way <laughs> so that way I don't have to do that much details. I'm really behind on this drawing because... It's getting really warm and it feels like summer weather even though it's spring and this week is like my birthday so on Wednesday will be my birthday and honestly I I don't know I just wanted to relax but because it's super warm I end up like dozing off really easily because of the heat and then I don't feel like doing anything <laughs> which is a bad thing um so I forced myself to get up to draw because I was like I need to do videos um, I have like an air con that my dad bought me, but he hasn't set it up yet. So I'm hoping he sets it up soon or else I'm gonna really like struggle. The air con in our house doesn't work, so that's why I'm struggling a lot. <laughs> um, I'm someone who doesn't do well in the heat and I actually get sick when it's really warm. Other people, they're afraid of the cold. For me, it's the opposite way around. I really hate the heat, so... I'm kind of dreading it now because right now is spring and it feels like summer. I don't know what it's going to feel like during the actual summer. Like if it's going to get like hotter than this, I might actually suffer a lot. So yeah, just the struggle. Also, um, because I'm using a fan, I turned off the fan so that way I could do this voiceover too and record properly. So... Um, yeah, it's not pleasant when I'm doing this, but I do what I can for the videos. Um, 
So here I am coloring his belt. I may have made the mistake of coloring like the strap itself a darker color and then the other straps a lighter color. It's just a mistake that I ended up doing. But I do try to shade everything in. It's fine, I guess, because it makes it look like different shades of brown. So that way it doesn't look like they're all like the same material. Like the thing on his shoulder actually looks like a thicker material than the actual belt itself that's on his like um chest area. So it's okay. I actually like coloring him in. It was pretty relaxing. This is more... This was way easier than drawing a Genshin character, which is surprising to me because I thought it might be difficult looking at all the patterns that he had. But it was super fast when I did it, so it wasn't that bad. And honestly, I loved like the colors and everything. It's super bright. Um, kind of icy because of the blue and stuff, so it was really relaxing. Sometimes I feel like if you put too much things on your characters, it becomes stressful to color in or draw. So normally, I'm not really a fan of like over making outfits overly complicated and like not practical. But Genshin Impact is like really pretty, so I can't really complain. Um, but this one for Link, he's pretty simple, but at the same time, it looks super pretty with the art style itself. So yeah, and now I'm just outlining everything. I love the spiky hair, to be honest. It's been a while since I actually drew a character with like super spiky hair, so this is fun. This is in my territory of like hairstyles that I would prefer to draw. I don't know if I should draw Zelda next or because technically in Breath of the Wild he does like this um there's this shark princess that likes Link so it's both like super cute so I don't know what to choose um but let me know in the comment section below if you think I should draw Zelda next um I'm just not too sure right now <laughs> but yeah, I'm not too familiar with the game, so when I'm drawing characters, I'm not going to really talk much about, like, their types of characters. But I'm pretty interested in learning, so maybe eventually one day I'll, like, research into it more. His eyes are very round compared to, like, male characters that I've seen in, like, anime. So they're, like, super pretty and they're really big. So I really wanted to keep that aspect of, like, his eyes. Because his facial features, it's so different from, like, other characters that I've seen. So it makes it, like, really nice to look at. And in the game, they actually, like, have, like, the collarbone area and also, like, the artwork. So, he does have, like, that collarbone area, which I love to draw. I don't know why. I'm, like, really happy, <laughs> like, when I end up drawing the details for the neck. I guess it's because I just feel like I accomplished a little bit more detail in the character every time you draw that part. So, yeah. And now I'm just outlining parts of the belt. Looking at this now, I have forgotten to outline certain areas of the belt, so I will go back and do that. So in my actual process work, if you want to see it, I'll end up posting it on my um, social media in my description box below. If you want to see that, uh, eventually I'll get to posting everything, but I have so many photos to post. But anyways... If you want to see that eventually, don't forget to like and, and follow those pages and you'll see. Um, but I will outline the rest of his belt off camera because that was a total like misstep when I was drawing. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm so sorry. Like I didn't realize I forgot certain details, but they're very little. So it's not much you're missing out on in this video. So yeah. And that's basically it.
And here I'm just outing, outlining with the white pen the different patterns that he has on his shirt. So for the strings, like the stitching line in the middle, I actually went over and outlined them a little bit more so that way you can tell that it's like white. And then now I'm doing the patterns. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Check down in the description box below if you want to see my social media. It's all there. And then I'll be posting process work. Um, and don't forget to check out my drawings playlist. There's plenty of drawings there that you can see. If you have a request for a certain character that you like from anywhere, definitely let me know in the comments section below. I'll go and take a look at that and I'd be willing to draw like other characters too. Um, let me know if you want to see Zelda or any other Breath of the Wild characters and or like Legend of Zelda characters. Um, let me know in the comments section below as well for that and I'll look into it. Honestly, I loved drawing this one. It's super new to me, so it's really nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!